Good morning, Year 6. Okay, something slightly different for our guided reading session today, and uh, something that we focused on a lot when you're in school, and you'll have seen um, the text maybe in a different format um, to this, but it's the type of thing that we've done an awful lot. We're looking at three mark questions today, and we've come away from the book, um, The London Eye Mystery. We're still going to finish that off next week, and lots of our guided reading sessions will still be around that. But I wanted to do something totally different, something that is going to make you think a little bit. You're going to have to read some text, and then you're going to have to answer only one question, but a three-mark question. I want a really detailed answer to the three-mark question. So the answers will be at the end of the video, but again, like I've said before, um, I'm trusting you to make sure that you are pushing yourself, challenging yourself, have a go at the answer and then mark it yourself. Okay, see how many marks out of three you can get. Hopefully you will get three marks and I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about doing that. Now, when we get onto the text in a second, what I want you to do is to read the text. If you have the ability to be able to time yourself, um, time it, see how long it takes you to read the text that's there. Okay, so there are three slides of text. I'm going to skip through the text slides quite quickly, so you'll need to pause the video on each, read it, play the video, and then pause it on the next, so you're pausing on each page of the um, text so that you can read that, and then let me know how long it took you to read this text before we then look at the question. We're going to unpick it a little bit together. Okay, so I'm going to move through the slides. I'd like you to pause it on each time how long it took and then play continue to play the video to get to the question okay so here we go okay so hopefully you paused the video and read that hopefully you were able to read that in a fairly short space of time now the question that i want you to think about today is what impression is the reader given about the character of Jimmy in the opening chapter? Explain two features of his character using evidence from the text to support your answers. So we're looking at one of those three mark questions again. Um, they like questions, okay, we like questions in year six, don't we, around impression of a character. So actually, they're not going to necessarily tell you in that text, oh, Jimmy is and then tell us something about his character. They're not going to say Jimmy is a very humorous character, a very funny character. We need to infer that from something that we've read about him. So if Jimmy had told us lots of jokes, we might infer that he was a humorous or funny character. Now, it says here to earn all three marks, okay, you need to explain two features and give evidence for at least one. Now, I would always recommend giving a bit of evidence for each. You don't need to go into a huge amount of details, but then if you miss one of them, you'll still get the marks you need from the other one. Remember, this is a key skill. It's going to really help you when you're moving into secondary school, looking at pulling apart text and forming your own opinions with evidence from the text. Um, and like I said before, this has to be something that's inferred, okay? through his thoughts, his actions, or his feelings. So it's not going to tell you necessarily the answer. It's going to give you lots of clues within it. So have a go at asking, uh, answering that question, and then unpause the video and look at the answers that, and see how many marks you think you would have got from that question. OK, so pause the video. Okay, so acceptable points, okay, three acceptable points that you could have had. That, one of them is that Jimmy is a joker or a prankster. Jimmy is a rebel or a rule breaker. Or that Jimmy is scared easily. So they're the three different things that you could have had. You don't need to give all three, you needed to give two of those, okay. And then remember that to get that extra mark, you need to give it some evidence. So here are some of the bits of evidence. You might have found some other bits as well that could work. So, so you need one of these points. So you might have the first point, the second point, or the third point. You need two of those, and then at least one bit of evidence. So Jimmy is clearly a joker because he played lots of practical jokes on people, 
of the school trip, such as letting off a stink bomb during lunch. So can you see there, you've given Jimmy is a joker, so there's this first point, so that's one mark, and then you've given some evidence, played lots of practical jokes on the school trip. Um, then he said he's also a rule breaker because he took something from the museum. Okay, so there's that. There's your evidence. Okay, what we've not got on here is a really explicit example of what he did for the second one, but that's fine. So that's all we needed to do. And there's another example down here. Okay, so did you, do you think you got three marks? Did you get two of these plus at least one bit of evidence? So I look forward to seeing your work sent in on Class Dojo later. Thank you very much.